Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where we're trying to get some institutions. That would sure be nice. We can grab our Miltech, and we absolutely will, but we're only 11 and a half years ahead of time now, and that's kind of spooky because... Wait, what are we grabbing here? African Swarm Cavalry is equivalent to African Hussar. Okay. Yes. The reason that this is kind of spooky is because we are going to be lacking power for ideas and general rolling. I mean, our quantity ideas is finished, which is good. But that does not really help our expansion and trade ideas, which are going to be struggling for a while. And it's this institution's tech penalty that's causing it. We do need to get printing press spreading, and it is starting to spread. Slowly. Very slowly. But it is beginning to spread. Global trade is spreading much more quickly, but it's still only embraced in two provinces right now. So we definitely need to be working on that. For right now, we definitely don't want to invest in any other ideas. There is a royal marriage offer here from Venice, and that's really intriguing. We're definitely going to take that. That bumps us up to 160. And then the question is, we can guarantee them to get them up to 170, and so we shall. And now we'll take forward for a little bit until this diplomat is right. Lose 50 admin power or 10 prestige. We'll take the prestige hit right now. We need that admin power really badly because we need to get universities. Okay, we have successfully colonized here, so we will go ahead and colonize down here next. Wonderful. Okay, Venice, I want to influence you, if we can. Yeah, we can afford that. Glorious. And then, we should be able to vassalize them in just a moment. We will go ahead and convert Amel. Wonderful. And then we will vassalize these guys in just 15 days. And then Venice will be ours. There we go. Now we can. Wonderful. So we just diplo-vassalized Venice. And we need to check to see what our number of vassals is. It's up there. How close are we to being able to annex these guys? We can actually do it now. So we should send our diplomat over. This is currently in Venice. We can pull them back. That is no longer necessary. And we will just start improving relations with these guys as soon as we can. Excellent. Poland influenced a nation over there. That's fine. We do have some rebellions brewing, or a rebellion, actually. That's much fewer rebellions than I'm used to. We can probably root out a little more corruption and drop our army maintenance down to somewhere like here-ish? Our corruption is 2.34. Okay, we converted Benin. And we will convert Lahijan next. We're at 55% for our religious unity. That is becoming much, 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 much better. Go ahead and group these together, and we'll send them over to here, since that's where everything else is congregating. Are we making additional brigs over here? Yeah, we are. Okay, that's fine. Estonia just embraced global trade. I wish we could do that. How are we doing on that front? We're getting there. Very, very slowly. Influential trading family or a skill 2 advisor will take the trading family. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's spreading basically all over Europe, all over our European holdings right now, except in Spain, which is a little bit unfortunate, and it's also over in this region, spreading reasonably quickly. Which is good. We should have we should have global trade quite soon. It's kind of funny that it spawned in our territory, but it's spreading over here so much faster. Thanks, China. <laughs> So we're currently at 
for corruption. That's coming down nicely. Let's actually root that out slightly faster. We're going to have to check to see how efficient this currently is. 4163. And we're paying 111.36. Let me pull up a calculator here. 111.36 times 12 is 1336.32. Multiply that by 2. 2672. So this is still hyper efficient to debase. Good to know. Let's uh, just cut that down ever so slightly. Like, it's, it's free money to debase currency right now. It's kind of insane. We just lost a great advisor, which means that we may want to debase right now, and I think that we do, actually. This does decrease our absolutism, so that's a potential issue. We'll have to keep that in mind. I didn't realize that that begins in the Age of Absolutism. That does change the calculus a little bit. We're still going to do it. But we'll have to keep that in mind. That is an additional malice for that. We'll grab this guy. Wonderful. And can we build any courthouses? Yes, we can. And so we shall. And then state houses. We are going to... That's incense. That's fine. So we don't have any efficient provinces to put it in. So we will just put it in our more developed regions. Wonderful. Profiteering in Cochin. Local unrest, trade power, goods produced modifier. We we'll protect our trade. Hello, Age of Absolutism. We have 48 Splendor right now, 51. We're gaining 3 per month right now. Okay. I'd love to promote more cultures. And yeah, our absolutism is at zero right now. Wonderful. Currently losing a little money, but that's okay. We're working on our corruption right now. These guys are still at 90%. Okay. We can actually make this not happen. We can park this army right here. And if that's the case, assuming we get there in time, that means that we can cut our army maintenance down to basically nil. I'll have it on like one tick above in case we take any damage. These fleets over here all need to be grouped up because this is really messing up our outliner. Rude England, okay. So, here is our Atlantic transports. Wonderful. We might want to think about making an actual combat fleet at some point. Venice is offering to share knowledge. 10% of our income. 26.91. I mean, they are our vassal. So does that mean that we get half of that back? <laughs> Maybe. I think we do it. It doesn't hurt our prestige, so I think it's fine. No, we do not get half of that back. That'd be funny if we did. But we definitely want to remain at peace right now and allow these institutions to spread. I really would like to get printing press. We're so far away from that. That's Alania's capital there. Like, nobody in Europe has it. It's just not spreading. We need to have Diptech 15... Colonial Overlord has Printing Press. Knowledge Sharing, Nearby Friendly Province, Adjacent Province. Development at least 20. Okay. Well, these guys just embraced it, so hopefully that will help it spread a little bit. 
Venice wants another royal marriage. We will do that. How are we doing on our opinion over here? 175. That's fine. We definitely want to get our dip tech up to 17. That's going to be next year that that happens. Okay. The question is, how long until we get global trade embraced? Like, it's spreading in so many places. And it's going to kind of do it all at once, to a large degree. Like, when we get it, we're going to get it quickly. Lose 25 support for printing press and state censorship? No, we want to gain support for printing press here. I don't care about this unrest. Where is Turpin? Turpin is over here. Okay. So that means that it is now embraced in this province. That's good. Unfortunately, these provinces are hot garbage in terms of their... Oh, Ethiopian Brazil... We could lose a mercantilism, and I don't think we care about mercantilism now that we're on global trade. I'd rather not have them gain liberty desire. France's liberty desire is still maximum. <laughs> That's going to be the case. They're never going to not be at maximum liberty desire. Which is just kind of funny. We just got a gift from Ethiopian Brazil. Thanks, buddies. And a chunk of manpower that we don't need. We can make states, and so we shall. Let's see here. We want to, of course, sort by development. And we will turn this region into a state. Excellent. Did another conversion. Fantastic. Our unity is coming up. Let's hop into the religious map mode. Can see that uh, we're still having some issues with it. There's still a lot of orthodox up in this region. But we're definitely making progress on that front. These guys are still threatening to rebel because of Bardia, huh? At this point. This actually came up in unrest when we moved our troops in. Oh, those troops are doing nothing. Probably because our maintenance is down, is my guess. They're not accepted culture, and I would love to promote some more cultures. Yeah, I'd love to, but it's sadly apparently not going to happen. When do we get a government reform? Quite a long time. And it's mostly because of our average local autonomy, which is fair enough. We're working on that, though. That is our primary goal right now. As well as conversions. Nope. You don't get access through our territory. What are you intended to be belonging to? Ah, yes, this fleet. That's fine. This is, of course, our Nordic transports. And A's Liberty Desire is going to be coming down. Oh, trade efficiency came up. That's nice. And we can grab Admin Tech 17. That gives us 250 governing cap, 10% administrative efficiency, 10% development efficiency, and access to universities. Now, universities are, of course, going to be important for the um, Enlightenment, I believe. Yes. That's a ways out. Let's go ahead and make states for right now. We can make 250 states worth. So, of course, we will sort by development. And we will turn whatever the next highest developments are into states until we run out of state cap. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. We got nine states made there. That is enormous. Now we're going to need to do some coring there. 
And I believe this should go away. Oh, it's it's because we these are all size three development. I think we should just make one more state. Let's make a tenth state here. Just to make sure that that actually no longer fits. Perfect. Ten states is huge. Like, we need a lot more states, don't get me wrong. What was this one? Why, why are you a state? Whatever. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Okay, so we have a free advisor slot, and we definitely need to put someone in here. We are actually going to have to debase our currency again. Are we still at zero absolutism? Uh, let's see here. Absolutism. Yeah, we're at zero absolutism. So that is fine. We don't then care about debasing right now. Glorious. And then we will put in this guy. For that extra power. Can we build any courthouses? No, we can't. State houses then. I'm assuming we don't have any glass. No, we don't. We must be getting close to being through all of these, right? Yeah, that's not that many left. Fascinating. Okay, let's continue. Well, I was going to, but we converted. There we go. We're up to 56% religious unity. That's getting better. It's going to be a couple hundred admin power. That's okay, because we are currently ahead of time 10 years. We'll take the hit on the nobility loyalty for right now. And our dip tech will be going up in June of next year, so just a couple of months. Wonderful. Kilwa is being occupied by Mutapa. Oh, they fully annexed this over here. Interesting. Mutapa might kick them off of the continent, though. And just onto Madagascar. I'd love to core these. We can actually core this one. And we'll just work on those slowly over time. We lost a general. Oh, okay. Some mercs are gone. We don't really care about that either right now. Fair amount of state houses still under construction, which is absolutely fine. Next month, we will be able to core Savener, and so we will. Just as soon as this month tick happens, and then let's check in on our institution spreads. Printing press is still in two provinces. It is spreading over here slowly. Ever so slowly. If we take a look at our universities here, that gives us a reduction of local development cost and possible number of buildings plus one. So it's a good thing to just build universities wherever we can. We're going to grab this dip tech though for right now. Bam. That gives us merchantmen. Wonderful. Also, two base production and tax in Urs, and the price of glass just went up by 25% until the end of the game. That's nice for us because we do produce quite a few glass or quite a few quite a few glass provinces. That's not how words work, but apparently that's how they work now. <laughs> We're nine years ahead of time on our tech, so that buys us some time to get our institutions spread. Which is good. Because we desperately need those. Specifically, printing press would be best. But global trade is currently embraced in 2.5% of our development right now. Which is great. And it will start spreading in quite a few other locations quite soon. Yeah, it's definitely starting to be embraced in quite a few spots. 70% there, 92% there. We might very well be able to grab it this episode. If not, then almost certainly next episode. Because it's also spreading in many of our highest development regions because of the ports, which is ideal. We'll go ahead and grab this location next for our coring. Wonderful. 
We're still going to be putting our money into state houses for right now. These guys popped. Which makes me super sad. We're at no morale, so uh, this is going to be interesting. Do our numbers carry the day? No. No, they do not. That's fine. I'm not concerned. We'll come back to that. We will, of course, have to raise our army maintenance to deal with it. I think raising our army maintenance to about here should be fine. And these guys will turn around and walk back. I wish we weren't losing money right now, but these rebellions, well, it is what it is. We could get some opinion with China or a claim on the area. We'll take the opinion with China. I'm not too interested in fighting right now. Okay, you can turn right back around. Next month, we should be able to core another location. We can also convert, which is great. There we go. And only one more core left to make there. Preparing to attack Aztec. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too concerned. And let's just put down these rebels. Excellent. In the meantime, I want to check in on global trade. Currently embraced still in 2.5%. We haven't had any additional provinces yet. We can convert, and we definitely want to get that going ASAP. So global trade is still 2.5% of development, but it's so close in many of these locations. A base manpower or two base manpower? We'll take the two base manpower. Thank you very much. 60 ducats for two for an additional development? That is so good. That is, like, insanely good. Okay, we can now drop our maintenance back down. Again, I want to have it one tick up so that we do slowly reinforce. We can convert a province, and so we shall. And in two more month ticks, we should be able to get this last bit of admin here that we need to core this. It'll be, in fact, exact. We'll be at zero admin power. Okay, sounds good. There we go. Hungary insulted us, but we kind of don't care. So what are we making currently? 13.73. Lose 50 military power or 10 prestige? Military power is the less important one. So we'll, we'll lose that. Our prestige is plenty high. And we should be done rooting out corruption in a little over two years. That's not too bad. We'll accept that. I don't suppose there are any more courthouses we can make. No, there are not. I'd really, really like to grab global trade, but it's only at 2.9% right now. It'll definitely start spreading. Like, a lot of these locations are going to finish up very soon, right? So that's good. <laughs> Mutapa grabbed it before we could. Sad. Cameroon is now self-sustaining. That's wonderful. Let's see, this is a wasteland up here, so we will grab this region. Perfect. And yeah, we should be able to grab this quite soon. Two base production in Mecca, that's wonderful. Certainly next episode, I think we grab global trade. For now, though, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we're getting global trade. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, or bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.